Hello, it's the 2nd of December, which means that I am now 17 months on testosterone. Uh, first thing I want to say is thank you so much for all the support that I had for my last update, um, where I told you about my son. He is now um, home from hospital, been home for two weeks, uh, and is a lot more communicative, um, and back to how he was when he was very little, and he's a lovely chap, and I, it's really nice to see that he's back being being quite normal again. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say. Uh, we also have um, one of the patients that was in the hospital with him has come to live with us as a lodger. Um, it's an interesting, it's very interesting. Uh, she has a lot of problems, um, but it's, it's nice to have somebody different in the house. And of course, the money is very helpful. Anyway, back to testosterone. What I've really noticed this month is that my facial hair is really growing quite quickly now. Um, I only have to not shave for a couple of days and I, it's really quite long on the cheeks. Still got gaps here and my November tash um, was still just a slightly furry blob for the entirety of the month. But these bits here um, are really quite hairy. Um, so it won't be long uh, before this bit fills in and I can have a proper beard. I'm, not, I'm going to keep it short, um, well, just cleanish, shaven, uh, until it comes in properly because I think it looks silly otherwise. Um, but I'm looking forward to having a, a proper stubbly, I'm going to have a short stubbly beard. I've realised that the endocrinologist, I don't think I'm going to see him very anytime soon. My last appointment was supposed to be in May and then was cancelled and I haven't had one offered to me since. But I don't think that's a problem because I have, I can go to my doctor and I can organ order the blood tests and then they can send up the results to the specialist endocrinologist um, at, for him to say whether I'm on the right levels or not. And I think that's what I'm going to do actually. Um, I have had blood tests a while ago I'm still waiting for the res results um, so I, hopefully by next month I'll know whether I'm on the right levels or not I feel that I am um, it, it feels right things are still changing like they should be um, I have a, still have a bit of downtime I'm doing Sustanon every two weeks and I do have the last um, but the second week sort of slowly deteriorates until my shot's ready again. But uh, that probably just happens with, with Austin on. Uh, now, what else? My singing voice is still changing. In fact, my voice is still changing. I think it sounds, it still sounds deeper when I'm talking. Um, but certainly I've noticed when I'm singing, I, I belong to a choir and I sing bass. And I've now been in the choir for about six weeks. And the first week, I couldn't quite get down to the bottom notes. And now, I can. It could be just because I've practiced, but I think it's also that T is still working on my voice and I shall still deepen, um, which is good news. But then they do say that it takes two to three years for changes to completely... Um, happen um, before you sort of stop doing stuff so you know I'm only a uh, year and a half um, so st I potentially still have a few changes left I didn't show you my chest last month because it was cold now I've put the heating on <laughs> um, I can show you my chest I'm so happy I'm so pleased with my results excuse me while I take the top off um, top is just, I mean, as you can see, it's looking good. Uh, the, the scars are still quite red. I do, um, I don't buy oil, I rescue oil, which is the sort of cheaper version of buy oil, um, and I rub that on every night before I go to bed, and I'm sure it's going to, to help. I have, don't really have feeling in my nipples. Um, I can feel that my hand is running over him, but that's about it really. It's just a sort of a nummy feeling. But, you know, it's so nice. I, I can't get over it still. It's just so nice to be able to put a shirt on and go. Um, uh, I, I, honestly, it was the best thing I've ever done. 
Uh, I'm see if I can stand up and stand a bit closer, then you'll be able to see that. As you see, it is healing up, but the middle bit, I think, is is healing up even better. The sides are, you know, it's going white. It, it'll take a while. I, I understand that. It will take a while. Let's see if I can stand back. So this is... We haven't got such a good camera, some of the people. Now, um... Okay, I know it's a bad angle, but yeah, I mean, look at that. It's fantastic. It's fantastic to still run my hands down and know that I'm, oh, you know, head from the side, still a bit of a belly, but it's, it's wonderful. I absolutely love it. As I say, it is worth all the pain um, that you go through. It's, it's just brilliant. So, best, best decision ever. I'm just going to put my shirt back on again. Because it's not that warm. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I love it. And I'm actually, I'm standing up much more. And I'm breathing out a lot more. And all the things you can't do when you've got a binder on. Um, amazing. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, socially... I still don't quite feel that I understand the social aspects of interacting with men. Um, there's a lot of high mate, even though you don't know them. So like, you know, if you're going to pay for petrol um, or pay for something and you go up to the cashier, you're going to automatically, this is what other men do, um, you automatically go, hi mate, whatever. Um, that doesn't come naturally to me. However, there are people of my generation with whom mate is not a normal thing to say. So, and I have noticed that, that it's okay for those men. So I think I'll probably just be one of those men. I'm not, I'm not a matey man. Um, not a matey man. <laughs> so I probably, I mean, I do say cheers mate, or sometimes, but it just feels wrong. Uh, but that's okay. I'm going to be me. I'm going to be my my type of a man. Um, it doesn't stop me from being recognised as a man. I am now recognised as a man all the time. It's brilliant, and I I just oh, don't, I don't even know. I don't ever not. Oh, I don't ever get misgendered. And for the first time yesterday, or the first time in a long time, my son referred to me with a he pronoun. So that is definitely progress because he hasn't been up till now. It's, I'm still his mum, and he will still refer to me as mum. But he, yeah, yesterday in the conversation, he was talking to somebody else about me and referred, you know, oh, he did such and such, which is awesome. Uh, it's about to be Christmas. I really struggle at Christmas. I struggle with Christmas especially because alcohol is usually I'm, I'm craving a lot and it's really bad and I'm feeling very down and depressed and stuff I'm not actually feeling that this Christmas I'm quite excited about Christmas I'm not on the edge of my seat trying to stop cravings it's like I've, I've turned into a different person um, I, I'm really happy <laughs> I'm really happy and um, what more can I say? Smile says everything, I suppose. Um, and it's lovely to see my son is, is being lovely. Um, anyway, that's all there is this month. Uh, I'm going to go up and see my daughter. She's newly pregnant which uh, with my fourth grandchild. So I'm going to go up and see her um, just before Christmas. So that'll be really nice. And I think, actually, my son's coming with me, um, which will be even nicer. I haven't seen my grandchildren for ages. They live sort of 400 miles away which to Americans is a very close distance but to us it's British at the other side of the world right I hope you all have a great Christmas and I will speak to you in January bye